The Canonical Schema. This is one of the core SOA design patterns and principles. What is a canonical schema? The definition is in software engineering, a canonical schema is a design pattern applied within service oriented design paradigm which aims to reduce the need for performing data model transformation when services exchange messages that reference the same data model. If you take all of the services within a domain service inventory, the canonical schema would contain all of the data elements in and out for all of the services. Here's an example. If you have separate schemas, one schema for each application uh, API or interface, you'd see something like this. You have a core application with name, address, amount, account number, who knows what, what various arguments you might have. Another service might have a uh, account number and a couple more arguments. Still another service have a different set of arguments and so forth. In a canonical schema, you pull out the name, address, account number that are common to all of the services, and then you have separate elements for each of the argu argument patterns, each of the elements for each of the other services. This allows one schema to have all of the elements for all of the services. The implementation allows you to then only need a map for each service to go from the canonical schema to the service uh, elements. In other words, on the left side you have the canonical schema as the payload of the message, and on the right side you have the schema for the API that you're accessing in that service. New services only need to map the fields to and from that canonical schema. Everything else can be the same. Performance is enhanced due to no data model transformation. Benefits to using a canonical schema. First, it reduces or eliminates the need for data model transformation. All you should ever need is a mapping node. It's going to improve performance. If you're providing masking so that uh, the canonical schema is masked or, or uh, uh, in some way uh, the, the parser is told not to uh, look at some part of the schema, you cut down on the amount of parsing that is necessary and if you're only doing mapping that's typically a very high performance way of uh, transforming the data. You improve composability. If all of the services within a service domain inventory except the same canonical schema. You can then compose new solutions just by changing the endpoint uh, order in the routing. It also improves reuse. Because the composability allows you to compose new solutions, you get better reuse out of any service because it's easily reused in multiple composite services. Lastly, it reduces development time. You can create templates that accept the canonical schema and return the canonical schema and allow mapping nodes in and out. And then all you have to really develop is the API wrapper in the middle. That's a canonical schema.